Now calling your attention to April 2nd, 2021 at approximately 3.53 p.m., did you treat a patient at SOCH named Corey Michelow? I did. Had Corey been admitted into the emergency room at that time? He was. Do you remember Corey? I, of course I do, yes. Who brought Corey into the emergency room that day? His father. When Corey was admitted into the emergency room, what room was he taken to? In room six. What nurse brought Corey to room six? Bill Doyle. Were you Corey's assigned nurse on April 2nd, 2021? I was. Where did you first observe Corey in the emergency room? In room six. Was Corey's father inside room six when you first saw Corey? Yes. Did you speak to Corey's father? Yes. Did you learn his name? Yes. What was Corey's father's name? Chris Greger. What were your immediate observations of Corey's condition in room six at the emergency room? Corey was very lethargic, pale. He was very sick. Were vital signs taken? His temperature was 96.9, I believe. And what about blood? Was that drawn? Yes. When Corey was initially in room six of the emergency room, what was the defendant's demeanor? He was, showed lack of emotion, kind of emotionless. While you were in room six, who else was present in the room? Uh, Dr. Pachati, another nursing staff. And what about Nurse Doyle? Yes. And did he stay in the whole room or did he leave? He left. And when you observed Corey in room six, did you see any bruising on his body? Yes, we did. We Can you tell the jurors what bruising you observed? I observed a bruise on his chest, a bruise under his chin, and one on his temple, his left side temple. While you were in room six, did medical staff speak to the defendant about a case history relating to Corey? Yes, we did. And what did the defendant say about the bruising? He said the bruising was from um, Corey playing football and riding his bicycle. What did the defendant say about Corey's mother? That she was a drug addict. What did the defendant say about contacting Corey's mother at that time? He said that he did not want her contacted. And what did the defendant say about Corey being at Jersey Shore Medical Center? That his mom had had him there the night before. What did the defendant say about Corey's symptoms before he was brought into the emergency room? That he had been vomiting and he was complaining of light and body pain. Now, that information, did you provide that to someone? I did. And who did you provide that information to? Uh, my nurse manager, Jenna Scholl. And was she working that day? She was. Did the defendant leave room six of the emergency room? He did. And what was Corey's condition? Corey was very sick. Um, he mumbled a couple words to me. He can, seized. Can you tell the jurors what happened regarding Corey's treatment at the emergency room and his condition? Um, Corey seized, and then he, his heart stopped. He had stopped breathing. So he initiated CPR. Um, Dr. Pachati intubated him, where he put a tube in his trachea and into his lungs, and ventilation was provided along with CPR. And what type of CPR was administered? Uh, pediatric CPR. And why was pediatric CPR administered? Because he was a six-year-old little boy. And what is pediatric CPR? It's one hand on the chest. Was Corey taken for a CT scan? He was. At one point, we had regained pulses, and we attempted to bring him down a CAT scan. And when we had gotten a CAT scan, he lost pulses again, and we were unable to do it and had to bring him back. So after that, what room was Corey brought back to? Room 6. Did the defendant then return to the area of room six? He did. And were you present inside of room six at the time? I was. And what medical staff was present in room six at this point? 
Um, Dr. Pichotti, there was some texts and other team members. Did Dr. Pichotti exit the room? He did. And what was happening with Corey's condition at this time? Corey was not breathing. His heart was not beating. He was basically dead at that point. Did the defendant then re-enter the room at SOCH? No. At approximately 4.51, did the defendant re-enter the room at SOCH? He did at that point, yes. And were you present at that point inside of room 6 with Corey? Yes, I was. And what was Corey's condition at that time? His heart was not beating and he was not breathing. Did the defendant exit room 6? He did. And did the defendant then ever come back to room 6 again? No, he did not. And who stayed with Corey? We did. We were the only ones with him. What time was Corey pronounced? 5.03 p.m. And were you present in the room? I was. While Corey was at the hospital, what, if any, observations did you make regarding any type of bleed or GI bleed? There was no bleeding present. If I may approach, I'm now going to show the witness what's been marked S48D, S48E, and S48F. Do you recognize those? I do. And can you tell the jurors what those are? They are CDs of surveillance from the hospital the day Corey was admitted to the emergency room. So that is a surveillance, surveillance from April 2nd of 2021? Yes. And that would be the day that you were the nurse in regard to Corey's care? Yes. And you are familiar with the location that is depicted? Yes. And you are also familiar with the persons who are depicted on these surveillance videos? Yes. Your Honor, permission to um, play, publish, admit into evidence S48D, S48E, and S48F. Mr. Gucci, any objection? None, Judge. S48D, E, and F in evidence. And permission to publish granted. Thank you. Tell the jurors who is located on that video. Uh, one of our nurses, Jamie. Um, and does that accurately depict the defendant leaving room six for the first time on April 2nd of 2021? Yes. And there was a time stamp on that video? Yes, there was. And is the time stamp accurate that was on that video? No. We can now go to the next video, please. And can you tell the jurors who is located on that video? Um, Chris Greger and one of the techs, Richard. And what area of the hospital does the video show? The hallway going to the family waiting room. And there was also a timestamp on that video? Yes, there was. Is that the correct time? No. If we may now go to the next video, please.
Now, can you tell the jurors who is located on that video? Uh, Chris Greger, Jenna Shaw, Jamie Jocelyn, one of our techs. And Jenna Shaw, who would that be? Would that be the, the blonde? The first manager, yeah, the blonde. And does that video accurately depict the defendant entering room six where you were located with Corey? Yes. And does that video accurately depict the defendant's entering room six where you were located with Corey? Yes. And can you tell the jurors what was going on with Corey's condition during the time of that video while inside room six? We were providing CPR um, and breathing for him. And did you see a machine present in that video? Yeah, Jamie went to grab a Doppler. And what would be the purpose of a Doppler? To see if we can find pulses that we can't feel. And this would have been at approximately 451? I believe so. And after this time period, did the defendant then ever come back into room six? No. And about how long was Corey treated at SOCH before he was pronounced? About an hour and 20 minutes. Thank you, Judge.